Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to run our very first Node application. Now it's going to be a super simple application, but it's going to be Node. It's going to run without being in the browser. First thing we're going to do is actually learn the Node console a little bit. Now the Node has its own version of the browser console. It's a little bit different than the browser console. So like for example if I was to get the browser console like this that we've been using this whole time, this whole thing we're doing let y equal 5, y plus 2 is 7, that kind of stuff where you can just run JavaScript in the console. There's also one in the terminal right here. Slightly different, but it's pretty much the same. To do that, all you have to do is do node. And it will give you a little prompt. So I can let x equal 4, console.log x puts out 4. So it's just the browser console is the exact same thing, except it's inside that console. Now, we aren't really going to use this much. I just want you to be aware that it's a thing, that it's there, that it exists. And um, you can use it whenever you need to just to test some code snippets out really quick. Now, to get out of here, there's a variety of different ways. The easiest is probably just to Control-C. And it'll say do it again, push Control-C, which we'll do. Be aware that Control-C is kind of the standard escape on any terminal command, so anytime something's running and you want it to quit, Control c is almost always the best way to do that. Another thing I wanted to demonstrate that um, Node is not the only language with a browser console, so here we could do um, Python. And there's one here for Python, so x equals 4, print x, there's 4, so this is just the Python one. Most languages have some sort of a terminal interpreter or a terminal console. Um, just That's just something that Node does as well. And for the Python, i got to do quit, I believe. Yep. So let's go ahead and clear our GORM terminal. And let's go ahead and make a file, a JavaScript file, that we can run with Node. So we want to touch. We'll call it myfile.js. Can't do it, of course. So let's click, double click on this. But our code, code goes here, it says. And all we're going to do inside here is we're just going to log some stuff to the console. Let x equal, let's, let's do a for loop. 4, let i equal 0, i is less than 10, i plus plus. We are going to console.log i. Pretty much the simplest loop you can make. So now that we have this file, we have to figure out how to run it from the console. Very simple. Node followed by the file name, my file. And it will simply run that. You'll notice it did exactly what we expected it to do. It looped through and printed out numbers 0 through 9, just like we thought it would. This is how we're going to use Node. We're going to be using Node to run our files. We're not actually going to crack open the Node console and type stuff into there. We're going to type our stuff into files and then use Node to run it. That's what we're going to be doing. Note that Node only runs JavaScript files. Any files that you want to run with Node have to end in .js, and they have to be valid JavaScript. You can't run any other types of um, files. You can't run any Java or C Sharp or C++ or C or, or any of those. It has to be JavaScript because Node will only work with JavaScript. In this video, we did two things. We cracked open the Node console and showed that it was there and that you can use it and run stuff. We also created a um, JavaScript application and ran it on the server using Node. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.